the community energy plan is basically our long-term look at energy uses in the city of Windsor. How do we use energy in terms of electricity, natural gas, and transportation fuels? And how will we be using them in the future? And how do we actually look at mitigating both from the economic side of things as well as from the environmental? The cost that we spend on energy is phenomenal. It's hard to uh, put it into context, quite frankly. In 2014, the community of Windsor spent $842 million on energy. So that is electricity, natural gas, and transportation fuels. And 80% of that money leaves the community. So it doesn't stay within the community, creating an economic benefit for the community. By investing in the community energy plan, it's about taking the money that they're going to be uh, spending on energy uh, and using that for themselves to be able to reinvest in things that they want to spend the money on. We know from plenty of research that's already been done, business as usual policies are actually going to be much more damaging, obviously, but also much more expensive in the future. So there's two aspects to the community energy plan. One, obviously, in terms of the environment, reducing energy use and thus waste and thus greenhouse gas emissions, but also saving the city money uh, that it would otherwise be spending uh, as a business as usual going forward. The other thing was too is how can we use this plan to actually either retain jobs or bring jobs into the city. So the number one is the deep energy retrofit program that we're proposing for both residential and commercial institutional facilities. Basically retrofitting a whole property. So it could be windows, doors, insulation. Well those are jobs that have to be basically here in Windsor. With the deep retrofit program, uh, one of the advantages of this voluntary program is that it covers the costs or it takes the cost of those initial steps to retrofit a building uh, and, and maximizes it over a, a lifespan. The other thing is if we can reduce energy use or in energy costs for all businesses, they'll be able to have more money to basically hire more people or even retain their, their current employment here without, uh, you know, without the threat of the rising energy costs. It all comes down to the bottom line. We wanted to make sure that over the life of the plan, over the next 25 years, that we'll actually more than pay back what the, the money is that it's spent up front. It's very important to look to the future and put us in a position to succeed and really uh, grow in the future. So we know that we're trying to limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius. And in order to do that, we actually have to cut back on our greenhouse gas emissions. The rural municipalities is actually quite large. So the vast majority of people actually live within cities. And so the cities need to look at how they design their city, how they plan their city, the options that they have for energy use in order to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. One of the things uh, certainly encouraging transit and improving our transit system, and we're working on that. We have uh, 112 buses in our fleet. Uh, from that, we have 29 of those buses are hybrid bus uh, technology, and the remaining are clean diesel buses. Our goal is to ensure that we can increase our ridership, and by increasing ridership, you want to make sure all the amenities that are on buses are going to be something that the public will be using uh, on a regular basis. There are some estimates out there that say if you are going to be driving, you could be saving between one-third to one-half of operating expenses taking public transit and that additional money goes back to the families in higher disposable income. Uh, we're putting significant infrastructure into active transportation, bike paths, walking uh, trails, uh, sidewalks and uh, also encouraging electric vehicles, charging stations, some of the things that uh, encourage uh, the new technology to take over as well. Homes in Windsor actually use 20% more energy per square foot than the average Ontario home. This is my home and uh, over the last 10 years I have done numerous upgrades to the home to make it more energy efficient. So uh, going forward my electricity cost is actually going to be zero. I'm producing twice as much electricity as the home consumes and I'm selling the electricity back into the grid. So I'm not only net zero, 
I'm actually a double net positive on this home. This home today rates actually as one of the 10th uh, most energy efficient homes in Canada. Basically, we have two targets in the Community Energy Plan. The first is we want to reduce energy consumption per capita by 40% by 2041. And the second is we want to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by 40% by 2041 over the 2014 baseline year. You know, I don't see the plan changing the way we live, you know, the landscape of the city of Windsor and what people love about Windsor. But again, how do we look at energy differently and how much of the energy we use? To learn more about Windsor's Community Energy Plan, please visit our website at citywindsor.ca.